So we have seen an uptick in private equity and other investors, including strategics investment in um, substance use disorder and opioid addiction treatment centers. I'd say a real uptick over the last three or four years. Not surprising, it kind of follows in alignment with the, frankly, the explosion of the opioid epidemic. Investments in or transactions involving substance use disorder or addiction treatment have particular complexities to them. Not only are they regulatorily more complex, for example, the laws surrounding the protection of patient records for those with addiction and uh, mental health disorders is even higher than your standard HIPAA requirements. Um, all your regular layer of anti-kickback rules, stark, uh, corporate practice of medicine all come into play. But in addition to those regulatory issues, you have the community-based issues with addiction treatment. Unfortunately, you have a not-in-my-backyard uh, attitude sometimes. So getting out there and communicating your transaction or your investment, your plans for expansion uh, from the beginning is actually really important. Increasingly, what we're seeing is uh, interest from investors in alternative prevention and treatment models, especially outpatient and ambulatory detox and ongoing uh, treatment and education services. Not everyone can afford a $1,000 a day bed treatment facility for 30 days, even if they have insurance. And so investors and providers who are um, developing models or providing models of care that have a $300 a day or $200 a day model of treatment can be effective as well as profitable for investors.